This is a second in a series of animations detailing the common sheet piling installation methods used in the UK. This animation details the pre-drive method. This animation shows a Movax, an excavated mounted vibratory hammer to drive the piles. This is generally seen as the safest method to pre-drive sheets. If a traditional excavator mounted vibrator, often referred to as an EMV, is being used, then the operative may be required to control the pile while the jaw clamps on top of the sheets. Prior to excavating, it is essential that the site be scanned for services and all available service records have been checked. Following this, it is recommended to pre-dig up to one meter in depth along the line of the sheet piles. Dig to the extents of the sheet pile perimeter. Assemble the frames inside the excavation using an excavator to lower in each brace component and connect using pins, arc clips and bolt together end plates. This frame should be roughly pumped out to the required dimensions and can be used as a guide to install the sheets. Remove the excavator bucket and attach the EMV to the excavator quick hitch mechanism. If an interlocked sheet frame with corner piles is required, then the first sheet to be driven should be one of the corner sheets. The corner piles can be welded to the respective sheet piles and driven together. When the EMV is operational, pick up the pile using its lower jaws or clamps, then place it onto the track of the excavator, side clamp the sheet and lift, ready for pitching. The sheet can now be lifted over to the excavation and positioned where it is to be driven. An operative should check the alignment of the sheet with a spirit level. Drive the corner sheet down a third of the way. If needed, reclamp the vibro hammer further up the sheet to allow the space to drive the sheet again. Check that the sheet is vertically level with a spirit level. If the sheet is not vertically aligned, then extract the pile and realign until vertical. When pre-driving sheets, it is important to follow the design specified and drive the sheets in sequence around the perimeter of the excavation. Repeat the process with the remaining sheets. It is common practice to initially install all the sheets to one meter above ground level to ease installation of adjacent piles. Once the line is complete, the piles can be driven to their final level. Pump out the top frame against the sheets to the recommended preload. Attach restraining chains between the upper frame, corner sheets and every three meters around the excavation. Install MGF edge safe and ladder safe to allow a safe means of access into the excavation after digging. With an excavator, dig to the second brace level specified in the design. The edge safe can be removed from the side of the excavation while digging. Assemble the lower frame, lowering assembled bracing legs into the excavation. They can be connected to each other using pins and arc clips. For the last leg, ensure there is sufficient tolerance to swing into place. The lower frame can now be pumped out to pressurise the sheets. Ensure a safe means of access has been provided for this operation. Attach restraining chains between the two frames, roughly 3 metres apart around the excavation. Repeat the digging process to formation level. Prior to entry, ensure edge protection is installed as well as a safe means of access.